We are back once again guys, right here on the channel for another video. We're here to talk about, we're going to continue the conversation of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. As you guys know from, from last night, I made a reaction to the Direct of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. And it was absolutely incredible. The new things we got, the new trailer was amazing. Also, the box legendary Pokemon have been revealed. But we're going to go over that and much more. And I've also, I've also opened up the official webpage of Sword and Shield. So in that way, I can definitely read out everything that we have got. So anyway guys, we're going to... We're gonna talk about we're gonna, we're gonna talk about Dynamax in first, and Dynamax is one of the newest features in the game. Dynamax is basically your Mega Evolution and Z moves of of this game. It's basically it's your new gimmick. It's basically the new gimmick thing in these games, man. And I'm so and and and, and, and I'm so excited for that. You can do raids. With, you can do Dynamax Raids, which is kind of similar to Pokemon Go. I don't play Pokemon Go, but I've heard Raids are really, really fun. And, yeah, I think Dynamaxing is going to be an interesting idea. So, also, I want to talk about something else that people probably didn't catch. And apparently, you see your rival character, Hop, and your character holding a phone. And apparently, that is a Rotom phone. And apparently, it is a Rotom phone. So, I'm going to read the article for what it says says on here. It says, any Pokemon that you find or catch during your adventure will have its information registered in the Pokedex. The Pokedex in these titles will actually be a part of your Rotom phone. Your Rotom phone is also is also home to Rotom, a Pokemon that can enter various electric appliances. A and your Rotom phone can do a lot more than service as a Pokedex. So they're continuing the trend for Rotom to do, and I like this. I like the fact that Rotom is not just going to be your Pokedex. He's now your phone. And you can do more. And there's a photo here. It says, for example, you can attach it to your bike and make it more faster on land, or it can even help you travel over water. Which was the thing we saw in the trailer. For those who didn't see that, that is what we saw in the trailer when, when we saw our character riding on a bike across the water and you saw a Milo tip. That is really cool. So... So for those who didn't who did not point that out, that is very very cool. That is very very cool. I like that. So we're going to talk about the new Pokemon of the Gala region. We're going to be talking about the new Pokemon that were revealed as well. We we've got we've we've got the Grass type Pokemon. We're going to be talking about the Grass type Pokemon, Gossifla. Gossufla is a grass type, which is kind of obvious from from from, from the de, from its design. So it's a, it's a flowering Pokemon. It is one. Its height is. Oh, I'm not, sorry about that. I got interrupted. I got I got interrupted by my mother. Um. Yeah. So this is the grass type Pokemon Gossufla. It is the flowering Pokemon. It is a grass type. Five foot one. It, 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 its height is five foot one, and it weighs at four point nine pounds. It is ability is cotton down. Now, some people did did not know what cotton down was, but it it's, it should say on. It, it actually said on here. Um, I watched a video of someone going over this. I'm not gonna you know mention names. I watched someone go over this, and apparently cotton down is an ability where I feel it was a move where your uh, your speed gets dropped. I don't know if it's physical attacks or special attacks, 
but your attacks get dropped. Your, your speed stack gets dropped every time it makes contact. That is a uh, one. That was what I heard from uh, this ability. It's 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 on here. It's on the official website somewhere. It's on the website somewhere. I I, I don't know where he found it, but and the second ability is regenerator as well. And it and and and, all, and also shows a bit of a there's some screenshots down the bottom here of it as well. It's it's Poland has a healing effect. Gossifler prefers lands with clean water and air, and it's pollen has a healing effect. Its pollen works on people too, and it used it, and it used to be a, a common folk mechanic. Remindy, rem, don't know how to say that word. For children of the Gala region, to give a, to give a tea made from this from this pollen that when they fall ill so it kind of makes a potion that heals people up and also and also on the right side here we see it says it moves with the wind Gossifler travels over long distances by getting blown along by the wind it controls it controls the direction of its travels by twisting its body and pedals that is really cool. That is really cool. That is really cool to think about. So that is Gossifler, and we're going to be talking about its evolved form, Elder Goss. I don't know if this is its middle stage or if it's its final evolution, but this is Elder Goss. It is the Cotton Bloom Pokemon. Its height is 1.8 and its weight is 5.5. It's a grass type, has the same abilities, Cotton Down and Regenerate. So, here we go, we've got some details of it down the bottom here. It's Cotton's Fluff protects it from enemies. When Gossifer evolves into Eldegoss, its heads become covered in thick cotton fluff. This cotton fluff serves as, as a cushion, helping to protect Eldegoss's head from damage. So, I think that is really cool. It seems like it evolves at level 20 because there's a, look, it says level 20 here. On the screen here so so anyway we're gonna talk about the next Pokemon and that is Wulu the I guess you could call it the Radata Zigzagoon Centret type Pokemon I'm guessing this is what it's gonna be it is a sheep Pokemon and it's a normal type like I said I'm guessing this thing is your Radata of this game it is it is a uh, its height is two that's it just two that's what it says it's just two so it's two two meters tall and it weighs at 13.2 pounds it is ability is fluffy and run away I've never heard of fluffy I've, I've actually never heard of it I've actually never seen I think I've never seen it I think the reason is because probably Mary had it but but yeah there's details of it down the bottom here so but we're not going to talk about the details. We'll, we'll. So, the next Pokemon we're going to be talking about is Dreadnor. And I like the look of this Pokemon. This po I like the look of this Pokemon, man. Dreadnor looks absolutely cool. I want to see it evolve into some kind of big tortoise. Because I think that's what it is. I think it's a turtle. But either way... Uh, this is dread. This is a dreadnor. It is a water rock type, so it's not a fossil. Fossils are normally water and rock, and not are normally water rocks. So, it is the bite Pokemon. It is three point three, and it weighs two hundred and fifty four point six pounds. This thing is heavy. This thing is a very heavy Pokemon. His abilities: a strong jaw and shell armor. Strong Jaw is absolutely an, an amazing ability. So, because of its Strong Jaw ability, moves like Bite are going to be even more powerful. So, your basic, so, so this basically is telling us the strategy. So, we need to be keeping moves like Bite, Crunch, Thunder Fang, and Fire Fang, and all that other, and all those other Bite-like moves. So. But we're not going to center all of our attention on that, but 
But all I'm saying is that you should at least keep a fighting move in your uh, in its move set if you wanna. I guess if you wanna really show off sh show off its ability, and I guess it really all depends on what ability you get as well. Powerful jaws and muscles. The sharp jawed fangs from the bite Pokemon Dreadnought are strong and sharp enough to bite through rock and iron. Though it has an extremely heavy rock shell, its its well dependent muscles allow it to move quicker. Dreadnought is known to be very vicious, and it takes a skilled trainer to tame and handle this Pokemon. It seems that some trainers will release Dreadnought back into the wild once they discover they can't handle it. Give it to me! Give it to me! I'll handle, I'll handle, I'll tame this ferocious, ferocious thing. And the final Pokemon we're going to be talking about is on it, personally, my favorite, is definitely personally going to be my favorite, is Corviknight. This, this is basically the Skarmory of this region. It is a raven. I cannot believe that this actually happened, man. I can't believe this actually happened. The fact that there was a... I believe it was a leak saying that there was going to be a raven. I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very happy. Because I don't think we ever had a raven Pokemon. But here we are. We have a raven Pokemon named Corviknight, and I'm definitely going to try and remember these names, because these names, well, especially Corviknight, sounds cool. So it's a flying steel type. Like I said, it's basically this version of Skarmory. It is 7.3, and it weighs at 165.3 pounds. 7.33 7 meters tall. That is a, that is a tall, tall bird. It's taller than me. It's taller than me. It's a uh, Ability, it, it's, a, its abilities are pressure and unnerve. So let's talk about the details of uh, Corviknight, the dashing lord of the skies. It is said that Corviknight is the strongest Pokemon living in the skies of the Gala region. It can often be seen fearlessly soaring through the air. Many say that any Pokemon foolish enough to challenge Corviknight are sent running with a jump. With, ah, uh, sorry. Many many say that any Pokemon that is foolish enough to challenge Corviknight are sent running with with just a sharp glare and crying from this fearsome Pokemon. I want this thing, man. This thing looks absolutely awesome to have. If this thing is early on in the game, we've already got... If this thing is found early on in the game, that will just be absolutely insane. And also, it's also used as a flying taxi. Use a flying taxi to travel from town to town. So, basically, for people that are wondering, it seems like Corviknight is a must-have. To me, it sounds like this Pokemon is a must-have. I don't think it's just gonna... Like, if you catch it and you just dump it in the PC, I, 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 I'm I, pretty sure you could still use it, still have it fly, but, I, but because this is not like Let's Go, I think because this is not like Let's Go, you're gonna have to have it in your party in order to fly around. So I think Corviknight is definitely going to be a must-have. I think Corviknight's going to be a must-have. And I'm definitely having it. I'm definitely having it. If that's your re if this is our regional bird, then I'm, for I'm all for it, man. I'm definitely having Corviknight. So, yeah, there you go. There's the Those are the new Pokemon that were uh, revealed. We've got the legendaries as well. Zacian and Zamazenta, which I freaking love them, man. I love both of them. Normally, when it comes to legendary Pokemon, I normally choose off choose off by the one that I that I prefer. But I can't choose. I can't choose this time. So, so yeah, we've got we've got some many. You will find many new, unique locations through the Gala region. So this is Route One. 
Pokemon are in the overworld, which is absolutely awesome. So we've got the cast here. We've got Leon, the champion. Hop, our rival. The Professor. Magnola. Magnola. And Sonya, who is the assistant. So that is also nice. That, that, also, that is also nice detail. So, yeah, we talked about the Dynamax. So we'll talk about the... We'll talk about the gym leaders because we've only we've only got one gym leader and that is Milo. Milo is the grass type gym leader. I think people are going to be picking the score bunny based off that alone. So and also you got also we've got max raid battles like I mentioned with So and also I guess the final thing we'll be talking about is the open area called the wild area. This area is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's an open area. There is a vast expanse of, of the land of the Gala region, which is known as the Wild Area. The Wild Area is a full of natural as far as the eye can see. It is. It, it connects to several different towns and cities. You will find a greater, varied variety of Pokemon living here than than anywhere else in the Gala region. The Pokemon you will run into will change depending on the weather or location. So you might see something new each time you visit. That is freaking cool, man. That is freaking cool. Like, the fact that you can see a... See, like, the, there's the bike. The, there's, the, there's the bike here. There's the uh, the bike screen here. Like I said, I can't show you the images. I'll probably just, I'll probably link the, uh, the actual website in the description so then you guys can check it out yourself. Like you, like, you can see a character riding on a bike while there's a, a Milotic just watching you go by. And it, and, and also, I freaking love how, how how it's so wide and spreaded. The wild area can be reached through various towns and cities, and it contains untamed wild, untamed wild wilderness. So, this big giant area... In the middle of the map, if you guys check the map, you saw that big, wide, open area. This was it. This was it. The wild area. This, this, that, that big, giant part in the middle of that map was this part here. Because you can see, because on this photo, you can see that big Ben Tower. You can see that big Ben Tower. Oh, my God, man. The wild area looks so cool, and you can see Tyranitar working around semi, se, semi, semi Toad, and so many other cool-looking Pokemon. Man, I, I'm looking forward to this game. I wish November fifteenth would come so soon, man. I wish it was coming really, really soon. And the fact that the legendary Pokemon Zahian and uh, Zama, Zamazenta, um, you could see in the trailer that they were about to fight each other, and then something was interrupting them and I feel like that's going to be the third I think that's going to be the third legendary man I think that covers everything guys I think that covers everything I think I've talked about everything possible if I missed anything you guys can let me know down below so anyway, guys, that is the end of this video. That is the end of this, uh... I, get, I guess you could call it a breakdown or a discussion of the Pokemon Direct and what we got. I'm looking forward to these games, man. November 15th, man. I wish it could come. I, I, wish, it was, I, I wish it was coming a lot quicker, man. I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to be excited for these games. I can't wait to play it for you guys on this channel. So... Yeah, thank you all so much for uh, watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. Comment down below your your thoughts on what we got, what we got from the Sword and Shield Direct, and what is and what which new Pokemon is your favorite? In my opinion, it's Corviknight. I feel like Corviknight is just so cool. He's gonna be this variant version of Skarmory, but. It, we've still got a lot more new Pokemon waiting for us. So, thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you all in the next video. See you soon, guys.